What's going on guys and welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be going over five best mods you guys can do for your 2IS under $100 to $200 range. Very affordable and things you can easily do to your car if it's modified heavily or if you're just a beginner and you just got the car. Enough of me blabbing, let's get right into it. So the first mod I do want to start off with is these window visors. So the reason why the window visors I feel is like one of the top mods you can do is because one, cosmetically, it looks really good with the car, and two, the functionality of it is very helpful. So for some of you who live in hot or humid areas, you guys may crack your windows just a little bit so you can release some of the humidity that's building up in the car, and you can just cool it down just a little bit. But one that does reveal that your window is cracked, with these window visors, it does kind of block it off. Another one of the functionalities that I think is very helpful is Actually, when it comes to rain season, and in the Bay Area, it's starting to become rain season very, very soon. It's probably going to rain this weekend, and this is very helpful because you can't crack your window when it's raining. For obvious reasons, the water will just go through the crack and then get everything wet in the interior, and it's, it's not good. So with these window visors, you guys can easily crack your windows, and the water will just come right off, and it won't even get inside the interior of the car. It does work the same on the rear windows of the car, so that's why I would recommend this as the first mod that you guys should get under 100 bucks. So now that we are in the interior of the car, the second mod that I would suggest you guys do is actually get some carbon fiber overlay or even any type of overlay that you guys want and wrap the interior panel pieces of your car. Let me show you guys what I'm talking about. So if you guys see here, I did carbon fiber wrap my center console and it does look pretty good. It was the stock silver gray color like this and like this on the side, that was the color it was before. And I just used some carbon fiber overlay and did it myself. It was a pretty easy DIY and you can easily do this in less than a day, but I'll leave a link to the top of the video up here just so you guys can get a quick DIY on how to do that. And aside from this, I did do the side panels where the window controls are on all four doors. So I did it on the front two and I did it on the back doors as well, just to show you guys. And I just think this mod is very, very good just for someone who's starting off. It's not something that's crazy hard to do. It's very easy and very doable. So if you guys are into getting mods and you guys wanna just, just ease into it a little bit, definitely do a wrapped interior panel pieces. It'll definitely be a head turner and you guys won't regret it. All right, so we're gonna stay in the interior of the car and one of the most, my most favorite mods I have done to my car is actually upgrading the interior lights. And for some of you who, have, who haven't done it yet, you guys know that the interior lights are very dull. It doesn't even help, especially at night. You can't see anything. And if you're just chilling in your car and you're trying to look, and you're trying to read a note or something, it's not doable. With these interior lights, I did upgrade them all to LED, front and the back. And one of my favorite parts of upgrading the interior are actually the lights when you open up the either driver or the passenger door. Let me show you what I'm talking about. So for those of you who don't know, when you open up the doors, there is a light that helps and guides you. It's kind of like a courtesy light that illuminates from underneath the door. And what I did was I upgraded it to where you open up the door, it says Lexus on the floor. So I'm gonna do is I'm gonna turn off the light, I'm gonna open the door, and I'm gonna show you guys what I'm talking about. So it's a very dope mod and it's a mod that I've gotten so many compliments on, Not even from non-car people, they open up the door and they're like, damn, that's pretty sick. So all you have to do is just replace this interior light and then it'll automatically illuminate to say Lexus. And that's one of my favorite mods and that's even less than like 20 bucks. If you guys do get the chance, definitely do that for your Lexus. All right, so I'm, gonna, I'm in a little bit of a weird spot, but one of the most favorite mods that I've done to my car that's under 100, maybe even 200 bucks is actually these LED reflectors. And it does give a good touch to the car from the rear end. Let me go turn off the light and then let me go turn on my headlights so I can show you guys. So just from the perspective of just this angle, you have the tail lights light up and then you also have the rear LED reflectors light up. It gives a good touch from the car and I personally haven't seen it from the back of someone else driving. 
but it does give a different look and it does separate you from all of these stock Lexus. Even Lexus who do have VLANs and upgraded headlights, it does separate you from them with just this small little piece. The wiring is a little bit difficult at first, but I will include a DIY video on how to do it because I did do it myself. So I'll include that in the top corner so you guys can check that out. So the reason why I really like this mod a lot is because when we modify our cars, we want to differentiate ourselves. Differentiate ourselves? Differentiate ourselves. We want to differentiate ourselves from these stock Lexuses as well as other people who have the same car as us. We want to do mods and we don't want to be like everyone else. We want to be different. And I think this mod separates my car and at least people who have done it from the stock ones and someone who hasn't done it before that's why i would recommend that and that one is definitely under 100 bucks all right so the last mod that i would like to suggest that you guys do for your lexus and for your 2is is painting the calipers a different color than the stock gray so let me just preface this by saying that the is 350s and the isfs already come with bigger brakes they come with the big brake kit and they are colored in different colors I believe. I believe they do come in like orange, red, blue I believe. I believe they do come in totally different colors. With the IS250 they do come in these small gray ugly dinky looking brakes. So as you can see on my car they are gray, they are small, and it just doesn't look right. So the reason I would suggest this is because when you get wheels or if you're still running stock wheels It'll give a little bit of pop to the color of the car. And I think it'll pretty much differentiate. It'll be more of a head turner to everyone looking if you do have color calipers. And you guys may be wondering like, yo bro, you didn't even do this mod. What are you talking about? Like, you, why would you even suggest something that you didn't do yourself? Hold on. It's a great question. It's a great bring up. And I am actually going to be painting the calipers this weekend. And that will be the next video posted after this one. And I am going to be painting it yellow. So for those of you watching, Make sure you guys stay tuned. I think the yellow is just gonna pop really well. And also, you guys may be bringing up like, yo, why don't you just buy the IS250 brakes? Why don't you just buy the ISF brakes? Why don't you just upgrade to a big brake kit, bro? You have a very good point. But the reason why I don't wanna do that is because there's only 200 horsepower in here. Why would I need a lot of stopping power for a car that's only running 200 horsepower? And then also, you guys may be saying like, yo, you need to stop, right? I think these stock brakes will cover it enough if you do need stopping power. I'm not going to be racing. And even if someone cuts me off or if they brake check me, anything like that, I think I'll be okay. And even with the big brake kit, you have to be very, very wary on which wheels you get because they may not fit with the big brake kit. So stay tuned for the paint the caliper video that's coming up next. All right guys, that's gonna do it for today's video. If you guys found this video helpful, definitely give this video a big thumbs up. And I will be leaving links to all of the parts that I've included in this video in the description down below. So definitely go check them out. Let me know what you guys end up doing. And if I did leave something out that you guys do can do to your car for less than 100 bucks, 200 bucks, let us know in the comment section down below. If you guys aren't already, definitely subscribe to the channel down below. I do have a whole bunch of mods coming. It's been delayed just because of COVID and there's a bunch of stuff. So I'm just waiting on the parts. So bear with me, have some patience with me. But we will be getting the calipers painted this weekend and that will be posted in the next video on the channel. Thank you guys for tuning to this video and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.